beautiful rainbow. Aloha everybody and welcome to this vlog of me in Hawaii. I'm here for a surgery interview. It is my first time in Hawaii. I thought that the program was pretty awesome so I decided to apply. Lo and behold, I got an invite. So now I'm here. I got this cool Airbnb. It's kind of small, but it is kind of cute. Has everything a person could need, and it's got a nice uh, touch of Hawaii-ness in it. There's a TV, there's a bed, and there's a balcony. So this is Hawaii. It is a little bit cloudy right now, but that's all right. And then I got this Airbnb because Look how close it is to that beach over there, which I plan on exploring right now. I flew in a couple hours ago and just got here, so I haven't done anything. I haven't even unpacked. If you would like to see me tackle this interview in a foreign land for a wonderful surgery program, then keep on watching. We are walking. We are walking. It's a little bit windy. raining a little bit so we're feeling the ocean from the top and the bottom and yeah I'm just walking along over here I'm gonna walk the whole island a little bit and keep experiencing the newness of it all do you hear all of the birds in this tree I can't see any of them but I can hear all of them I'm getting that sand and ocean out of my <laughs> you guys hear all of that? It's like a, a like a thunderstorm going on outside or something. Yeah, this wind like crazy. So my hair got completely ruined when I went to the beach, and now I have to redo it. So let me go do that really quick. Okay, tons of heat damage and hair loss later, my hair is back to being presentable. I honestly wonder what it is like to have naturally presentable hair. <laughs> Definitely gonna need some of this. It is humid here. It is actually only eight o'clock here in Hawaii, but it is 11 back in Texas, so I am pretty exhausted because uh, I've had a long day of traveling, um, walking around on the beach, so I am ready to go to sleep. I wake up at five o'clock in the morning, so I kind of need to sleep at early anyway. So I will get ready for my interview with you guys in the morning, and I will see you then. So goodbye, everybody. All right, guys, <laughs> let's go. So I completely forgot to pack my foundation, um, which I can't really do any of my other makeup if I don't have that, so I think I'm just going to go like this. I've never done that before. But you know, the good thing about interviews is nobody really knows how you look like, so nobody can judge you on what you did or didn't do to your appearance that day. So <laughs> that's a good thing. All right guys, well, I'm just gonna get dressed. All right, what do we think of the turtleneck and jacket look? Do I look too... I don't know. It's really luxurious looking. I don't know, I kinda like it. I feel pretty important right now. <laughs> okay guys, well, um, now I'm gonna go. I, I'm gonna be really early because it's only 15 minutes away and I'm leaving um, almost an hour early because it's at seven. But I would rather be early and just sitting there in the parking lot than be late. This is my Kate Spade Cameron satchel bag that I got for Black Friday. Um, it is 
really really nice it's like the epitome of what i think a business bag should be um, and what i pack in it is really not much i just make sure i have a lot of pens in it because it's like a really really bad idea to show up to any interview without a pen and then the other things in here are just i have my wallet in here um my key to my airbnb this charger and my phone <laughs> i really don't need anything else this is just mostly for show okay guys i'm all ready so Let's go to our interview and be a boss. This is my rental car that I'm using. And I somehow I have to get out of this very tight parking. And I have to enter from this side. Hopefully I don't rip my pants. Whoa, look at this food. So I just got back from my interview. Still looking like this. Um, and it's just so cool, because Airbnbs and hotels always make me feel like I live here. Okay guys, time to explore. Hey guys, so I'm at a surfboard shop. I didn't get to film it, but I went surfing in the ocean and it was awesome. And it was a lot of hard work for these stick arms, but I think I did okay. in the morning going to a shuttle to the airport and that was the end of my Hawaii trip. Just need to get to the airport now and then make it to Texas. Thank you guys for coming with me to my whole trip to Hawaii. It definitely was an amazing time. I can already look back and think about the waves and the sand and all the people and the noise. And I don't know, fourth year has just been so, it's, it can be stressful at times, but for the most part, I am relaxed and on my couch enjoying life. It almost makes you forget that there was ever a hard time in medical school. <laughs> Okay, so I'm currently extremely late for this review session. Extremely late as in it already started 10 minutes ago and I'm 20 minutes away. Studied a week in advance for this final and I still can't make an A. It's, how am I supposed to be a surgeon or anything if I can't get any A's in any of my glasses? Nine o'clock and I'm almost halfway done reviewing this stuff. Only uh, that much stuff of front and back notes. <laughs> to go through. Okay, maybe it was a little bit hard, but I think that all in all, I definitely had a lot of good times compared to the hard times. My stomach hurts, I'm stressed. I have no idea why I continue to subject myself to all of this distress. I'm gonna go look over my first midterm notes. She's volunteering here, you volunteer. She's shadowing, you're shadowing. Like, like I just wish the voice could just shut up and I could just enjoy my life. Okay, so it was hard. Actually, the whole thing was hard. Even my life right now is hard. Well, see, that's, that's the trickery of struggle. Especially if it's a struggle that is for something like there's a goal or there's a product or prize at the end There's a reason for the struggle is when you have the reason or the prize or the end product You don't live the struggle anymore so easy when you're just swimming in the earnings to look back and You don't feel like you struggled you don't feel like you really went through anything because all I feel is the present time And right now I'm very comfortable, but I think it is important No matter what you are right now. Maybe you are just beginning the struggle 
or you're you've been out of it for 10 years and you've just been enjoying life it's always remember that you did it makes you prouder of where you are and what you've done or what you will do never forget the struggle because you earned that product and don't forget that you earned it through everything that you went through you earned it and you should peacefully lay in your pajamas on your couch with graduation in May, my degree waiting for me, my future job hopefully awaiting, and my modest salary. <laughs> Thank you guys everyone for coming with me on my trip and for following me just in this whole life that I've been through. I really appreciate all of your help and support. So thank you very much guys and I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye everybody. Mm -hmm.